Hi. Welcome back. So, Annie here. Um, in response to recent events, I decided I am going to share my abortion story. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do this in several parts um, to honor the storytelling fashion of this real story and um, the nature of vulnerability. So, yeah, I'm just... and. Just wanting to honor um, all of the pain and um, confusion, anger, <laughs> um, and I'm sure many other emotions <laughs> that are relevant in these current times in the United States of America, this place that we call the United States of America, and um, Yeah, just this grasping of the patriarchy that seems to be happening. Um, that's the framework that I choose to look at um, what's happening. And I guess before I jump in, um, this is just going to be really brief, uh, this introduction to my story. Um, but I do uh, sometimes you know, zoom out my perspective um, for various reasons. Coping mechanism, I'm sure, is one of them. Uh, so this perspective uh, that I'm going to share could be triggering for some people who are activated um, around this topic, um, especially um, and uh, having had an abortion myself and very much interested in autonomy and freedom and safety for everybody. Um, yeah, I just, I understand that, uh, these are not easy times. And so my understanding of abusive power structures, abusive relationships, not only personal, but also cultural, um, is that when one is leaving the relationship or the relationship is coming to a close or an end, that can be the most volatile time in a, you know, a relationship that may have already been dangerous. So we do live in a culture that is based in like policing. Um, in other words, you know, we look to authority for our safety as opposed to having a culture based in, like, uh, the citizens uh, keeping each other safe. Um, so while some of this may be relevant now today because of the complexity of the last hundred and multiple hundreds of years, um, for the most part, this is based um, from the settler colonial project that is what America started as um, and continues to be. So in a personal relationship, a one-on-one -on -one intimacy, as well as possibly uh, a larger uh, relational framework like the United States, um, there's power. So there's a government that has power over partially because of the military industrial complex, um, partially because of abuse, or right? because that power is not being held in responsibility, the power is abused. In an abusive relationship, someone's um, not taking responsibility of the power that they have in their personal relationship. So it's a very common um, that in a relationship where abuse ha has happened, uh, where there's been a lack of responsibility around power or control, when that relationship is coming to an end, or let's say someone's trying to leave that relationship, that's when um, communication, uh, the situation in general can become even more volatile or um, extreme. And so the way I choose to frame part of what's happening with the Roe versus Wade 
situation is the patriarchal uh, and also, you know, much complexity within that control is like grasping at straws. It's like, okay, younger generations um, are not going to put up with uh, a lot of what has been put up with in past decades and it's really time to move on. We need to focus on um, building empathy, communication, responding to the climate emergency. These are the things we should focus on as opposed to like false dichotomy of political parties and uh, distracting um, topics such as bodily autonomy and safety in the medical realm like those should not even be points of conversation they should be assumed we should assume people have the right over their bodies so (laughs) um that's the perspective i choose to come at these recent events through um and and i'm i'm sharing that as a forward introduction um that I, I want my personal uh, abortion story to be couched in. Um, somewhat relevant, uh, but just I, I want to speak to this larger, um, these larger shifts in general. Um, and I also look forward to sharing my personal story, uh, which happened over a decade ago. I was about 22 when I had an abortion. Um, and, um, so that'll be the next, uh, little video. So I'll hop into that and thanks for tuning in, um, and just honoring everything that's showing up right now and really making sure that we're creating a safe space for ourselves and our private spaces for grief, um, and anger and to keep that energy moving and to really honor those feelings to see how we can utilize them um for uh for ourselves so i'm more on that later too okay take good care